Thailand's new cabinet has been sworn in, completing the official transfer of power to the country's new civilian government. Today's ceremony saw 36 cabinet appointees assume their respective positions more than four months after the March general election. CNA correspondent May Wong caught up with cabinet members earlier today as they were leaving the government house in Bangkok and she asked them about the pressure they are under to deliver on campaign promises. Time will tell and all the concerns will, will be swept away when we deliver what we are supposed to, to give to the people. Many people are criticizing that you may not be able to deliver on your election promises. What is your response to that? Uh, Mr. And for the latest, we're speaking to May as well. May, so now that the cabinet has been sworn in, what happens? Well, just a short while ago, they actually took their photo-taking session here, right here on the grounds of the government house, and they have actually proceeded right now to a meeting, closed-door meeting, where all the cabinet ministers will gather for the first time, really, to go through with each other and also to familiarize themselves with each other. Now, as Prime Minister Prayut was walking into the government building, he actually said that the, uh, the politicians, or rather the cabinet ministers, are even more more experienced than he is and that they are all familiar with each other and will be able to work together to help bring Thailand forward. Now next up also we can expect the cabinet to actually submit their policy manifesto that will be declared in parliament next week. This will be a time where the new government will reveal exactly what plans they have for the country going forward and this I understand will be made up of about 40 pages comprising of all the various policies that have been submitted by the different parties, the pro-military faction, of course, parties that have actually made promises to their voters during the last election. So that's what we can expect to see. And also, it will be interesting to see what are some of the policies that have been left out and what are some of the policies that will be included in this new cabinet. But what are some of the government's priorities in the coming year, though? Economy, economy, economy. Well, the problem is that the economic situation in Thailand has been dismal. In fact, this is a key point that the new cabinet will have to address immediately. In fact, recently the World Bank downgraded the growth forecast for Thailand this year from 3.8% to 3.5%. And one major risk factor that the World Bank highlighted is whether or not this new cabinet will indeed be cohesive enough to roll out the particularly large public infrastructure projects in order to revitalize the economy. So that will be a very crucial point. And of course, many of the citizens are expecting to see results and they're expecting to see results really fast. They want to see whether or not this multi-party cabinet will be able to deliver on the promises, promises such as increasing minimum wage for the workers, such as cutting personal income taxes, also providing subsidies as well as allowances for the elderly as well as the poor in Thailand. All these these were promises made to the people and now the Thai people will be determined to see what exactly will this new cabinet be able to deliver. So what are some of the challenges that they're expecting then? It will not be an easy task for this new cabinet. Already criticisms are mounting, particularly from the opposition camp, calling out this new cabinet, saying that they have pretty much done what they can to entrench themselves in terms of extending their military power because many of these cabinet ministers actually belong to the pro-military faction. And of course, many of them are also old faces from the previous military government. And so the opposition camp has already said that they're going to scrutinize the policy manifesto very closely they're going to call out on any wrongdoings by the new cabinet. Also, they will be demanding for more transparency, more accountability, and more important of all, they've also said that they want to work towards censuring, excuse me, or rather uh, coming out with a motion or a motion of no confidence against this new government as well as Pray Prime Minister Prayut, uh, Prayut Chanucha. And so this, uh, some of the challenges that the new cabinet will have to deal with, they will have to deliver results fast and they will need to show that that they're determined to work together in order to bring Thailand to the next level and also to create more um, employment opportunities as well as increase the level of wages for the people here in Thailand. All right, many thanks for that update. May Wong speaking to us from Bangkok on Thailand's swearing-in of its new civilian cabinet.